Thank you for watching my video. And please subscribe on my YouTube channel. Good day. An elderly couple is flying to Hawaii for a two-week vacation to celebrate their 50th anniversary. Suddenly, the captain announces over the public address system, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to say that I have some bad news. Our engines are malfunctioning and we will attempt an emergency landing. Luckily, I see an uncharted island below us and we should be able to land on the beach. However, the odds are that we may never be rescued and we'll have to live on the island for the rest of our lives. Thanks to the skill of the flight crew, the plane lands safely on the island. An hour later, the husband turns to his wife and asks, Honey, did we pay the car bill this month? No, sweetheart, she responds. Still shaken from the crash landing, he then asks, Did we pay our credit card bill yet? Oh no. I'm sorry. I forgot to send the check, she says. One last thing, did you remember to pay the medical bill for the hospital visit last month? He asks. Oh, forgive me, sweetheart, begged the wife. I didn't send that one, either. The husband grabs her and gives her the biggest hug in 50 years. She pulls away and asks him, what was the hug for? The husband answers, don't you see? The debt collectors will find us. <laughs> a bus full of ugly people had a head-on collision with a truck. When they died, God granted all of them one wish. The first person said, I want to be gorgeous. God snapped his fingers, and it happened. The second person said the same thing, and God did the same thing. This went on and on throughout the group. God noticed the last man in line was laughing hysterically. By the time God got to the last 10 people, the last man was laughing and rolling on the ground. When the man's turn came, he laughed and said, I wish they were all ugly again. <laughs> While examining the corpse of Mr. Schwartz, a mortician notices that Schwartz has the largest manhood he has ever seen in his life. I'm sorry Mr. Schwartz, says the mortician, but I can't send you to be cremated with a tremendously huge penis like this. It has to be saved for posterity. The mortician removes the huge manhood, places it in a jar and puts the jar in his briefcase. When he gets home, he decides to show it to his wife. I have something to show you that you won't believe, he says, removing the jar from his briefcase. Oh my god, the wife screams. Schwartz is dead.